Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to create a drop-down menu similar to what you find on various websites. It is usually used on the profile picture to show other options like logging out. So don't worry that in today's tutorial, I will also show you how to open and close the menu by clicking on the profile picture. I will tell you right off the bat that we will be using React.js, specifically the use state hook. With that said, have a good viewing and make sure you subscribe and leave a like. What I am doing now is creating the component itself. For the purpose of the tutorial, it will be simple and trivial so take your time to embellish it as you wish. Now that the component has been created, it is time to import it where we need it. I will do this inside the navbar component because it will be easier for me then to open and close the menu at my convenience, and especially for the structure of my project. Well, we have come to the most important point of the tutorial. The most important property is position, which we will set to absolute so that we can then manually give the position we need thanks to top and right. The values of top and right remain your choice, as indeed do all the other options. The important thing is that you remember to set the position to absolute. Also, I decided to add a border so that it is a little more visible to you. To create that little tab that you see in the upper right corner we will make use of the pseudo element before, which will allow us to add material before our component. We will make use of it to create a small square to be placed above our menu, and this square will in turn be rotated 45 degrees so as to create the effect we require. The first thing we will need to do is set the position to absolute, as we did with the menu just now. After that we will have to set the position as we want it using top and right again. In any case the top values must be negative if you want the new div to show above the menu. Having done that, set the content to an empty string and finally rotate the object 45 degrees so as to create the desired effect. And then don't forget to set a background so it will be at least visible and in addition to that, also an even width and height so that it actually creates a square and not some other weird shape. The menu is now complete but not working, we don't want it to be visible all the time so to show or hide it as we like we will make use of the use state hook. The first thing we will do is declare the state and set its initial state to false, because we by default do not want it to be visible. Once we've declared the state, we're going to open curly braces and check the state. If the state is true then we'll show the component, otherwise nothing. To make the menu open on our click, we will of course have to set an event on the click and we will do that thanks to onClick, which expects to receive a function. We will pass it the function we need to set the state we declared earlier and as a parameter another function in turn that takes the stored value and returns its opposite. So if right now the value is false, on its click it will become true and on the next click it will become false again and so on. 